though he didn't know it then. Didn't understand the dead look in her eyes. That unnatural, wooden, lurching motion as she moved about the lab. Of course, it was too late when I learned to read the signs. Most of the crew were in its power already. And I'd paid a terrible price for my blindness. Was I the last? I could hear their footsteps on the snow outside my cabin. Leaden steps, moving as one. Not safe here. I'll make for the lab. Okay. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Pain. Throbbing from the gaping hole in my stomach. That could have gone better. Dr. Turner, open up! My eyes, swimming. I almost black out again. Come on, Jim. There's nothing to worry about. Harris. Open this fucking door, James. <laughs> or whatever it is that's living in his body now. I clenched my teeth against another wave of agony. Keep it together. First things first. Gotta get this bleeding under control. The door stuck fast. Need something to lever it. It's not important. No use opening it. Nothing human out there for a thousand Ks. Jim! Come on, Jim! Open the door! I promise everything will be okay, mate. Alright? Harris was a good bloke. Shit. Open the fucking door! <laughs> I can't stand listening to that thing out there. Is it all in his head? Like, I don't get it. Is it all in his head or is this actually happening? A rusty screwdriver rattled around in the toolbox. A collection of papers on the ancient fungi buried deep beneath the ice would have been the culmination of a decade of research. The better part of our lives together. I'd never finish now, but perhaps I can pass on the torch. Oh, we got a screwdriver. And we got a torch, I think. Or no, that's a gun. What the hell? Wait, can they use the gun? Like, what do you use it for? The gun's empty. Oh, that's why. I can't think of a use for it. What the hell? Dude, there's a body right there. The frick? Found a small blowtorch. What is that for? No time to mess with that. Locked. Uh, can you use the... Don't want to waste... Okay, um... It's not going to work. No, hold on. The gun's in. Okay, Don't want to... Put it back, bro. Can't do it. How do you put shit back? Don't want to waste. Can't bear to go. Um, okay. Um, do... This? That's not gonna help. Really? They don't work together. Can't bear to go near. Looking at the radio, my heart sinks. A stray bullet had smashed right through it. Shit. Best leave her. She's running fine. Can't reach. That won't work. The gun's empty. Don't want to waste. What do you use a blowtorch? She's for? already lit. It's already lit. What, what do you use a blowtorch for? Don't want to waste. Can't. It's not going to work. Can't bear to go near the thing again. So we need something to reach this thing. Whatever this thing is. I don't know how the hell are we going to do that. Arrow. That won't work. 
found some mean looking wire cutters. Can't reach. They don't want to waste Don't want to waste fuel. That's not going to help. So what the hell? The door's stuck fast. Stuck fast? I leave her at the door with the screwdriver, but it's too small to be of any use. Can't do it. What the hell do you want to do, man? Damn. I'll leave it alone. No use opening it. Nothing here. I don't get it. There's nothing else you... Locked. They don't work together. That's not going to help. It's not going to cut. That won't. They. Wire cutters that doesn't work on this? Can't do. Really? It's not. Don't want to. Radio's useless to me, broken. And I can't fix it with my bare hands. Despite the tremor in my fingers. I've managed to undo the screws. Radio's use. Okay, what did you get? He managed to unscrew it, right? Radio's useless to me, bro. Can you do it, man? She's already opened up. Okay, what do you want to do? Put this in there? That's not. Fuck me. Don't want to. Guns in. Snipping away the fused oh, okay. wire. There we go. I have a vision collecting fusiform stem samples with my wife. Her laughter. Radio's. Didn't you? I've already removed the dead wire. Okay, what? Oh, so you could put this wire in there to get it to work. Um... That won't work. Don't want... That's not... They don't work. The guns... The guns... Best lever... Locked. This is locked. Like, how do you find the freaking key for it? No time to mess with that. There's nothing else. There's nothing. Can't do it. It's not. What do you do with the barrel? Thinking to move the barrel closer to the wiring, I give it a push. The agony from the hole in my stomach is indescribable. Gotta fix myself up first. So how, how does he fix himself, man? What do you? There's nothing else useful. What do you want to do, man? How, how do you fix your damn self, bro? There's no. There's nothing. There has to be something here, in the cabinet. Locked. That's not good. Can't you not break that it? That won't work. Fuck, how are you gonna... Don't wanna what? Jesus. Okay, Wilkins. What you got for me? Kneeling down over the body, I noticed the telltale, inhuman signs on his face. He was also wearing one of those armbands I'd noticed on the others. Oh, God, the stench coming off him. Almost losing consciousness. Again, but desperate, I persist. 
I find the key in his jeans pocket. Oh, there we go. We found the key. So that key goes, what the hell? Armband, okay. The lock clicks open. My eyes flit hungrily past morphine, antibiotics, bandages. Someone had been storing lab samples in here again. Strictly forbidden, but the lab fridge had been on the fritz for weeks. The sample caught my eye. Thin, scarlet membranes stretched over a pulsating, bulbous growth. Ah! I wave away the cloud of crimson spores. Eyes, nostrils, throat burning. I cough, and the action triggers a dagger of pain from my wound. Still, I manage not to black out, and at least the cabinet's open. Morphine would only slow my mind, so clenching my teeth to suppress screams of agony, I injected some penicillin around the wound before bandaging it up. I shove the barrel under the wire. Can't reach. Then go on top of it. Jesus Christ. Reaching up to cut the wire, I feel something brush against my mind. Vast and terrible. That mere fleeting whisper of contact. A freight train roaring through my consciousness. I was drowning. What? From deep beneath my mind, I could feel that force animating my limbs like a monstrous puppeteer. Damn. Lungs burning, I struggled to the surface. it felt I've got to get help you gotta help so we got wires right here let's see should be working now I grabbed the receiver this is dr. James Turner from station theta 661 do you copy the welcome sound of a friendly voice comes through the static yeah Oh, thank God. I need evac ASAP. There's been... Something horrible has happened. Yep. Tell the crew, do not land until they see... Repeat, do not land until they see Dr. Parker. Copy. Over and out. Thank God for that. Wavering on my feet, exhausted, I sink to the floor to wait. Sleep falls like a lead curtain. What's happening? What? I snap awake. Something very wrong. The cold. My mind, my body stiff and numb. The pain like hot lead being poured over my hands, my feet, my face. I struggle to move my limbs, tearing myself away from the frozen floor. The cold. Well, can you light this shit up? I'm done with it. The flame from the blowtorch isn't lighting the fuel. I need some kindling. Kindling? It's not good. Where'd you find kindling from? I'm done with it. There's nothing else. There's nothing. I'll leave it alone. Huh. Yeah, there's nothing else. So where the hell's the kindling? Is it in the locker? 
The door stuck fast. It's not locked. They don't. Can't do. Don't want to. I leave her at the door with the screwdriver. It's not important. No use, so nothing here. So what do you do? Like, where's the kindling? Wouldn't it be in the locker? But it's locked, so I don't know how the hell to open this. It's not going to work. What do you use this for? That's not good. No time to miss. Can't use bear to go near the thing. What? Use it. Use his flesh, man. Use his flesh as kindling, bro. You have to survive. Not you have going to near it again. Oh my god. There's fuel in her. Need to find some kindling quickly. Can't bear it. Can't bear it. The thing had just kept coming. Finally went down after I emptied my last five rounds into it. But not before it had got me in the guts. Can't bear it. Can't bear it. It's not important. So where the hell's the kindling? Where'd you find that? Is it in the cabinet somewhere? I'm done with it. He's done with it, bro. Oh, you just use this. Tearing up a decade of work. Oh, I'm so I stupid. Throw it in. I am so dumb as hell, dude. The page is lit. Stand close. I forgot it's about the the book. Face. I didn't think I had I'll the book lose with some me. Fingers, but I'm alive. For now. Is that the evac chopper? You got an evac, bro. Go. Oh. oh wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'll leave it alone. Wait, you don't want to use the radio just to make sure? How the hell is it gonna come out? Huh? It's quiet out there. Time to go. I'm turning the wheel when I hear shouts and bodies slam into the other side. I throw myself at the door, but too late. Their worm-like arms twisting their way in. Oh God, don't know how long I can hold it. I almost dropped the blowtorch trying to light it, but it flares to life and I hold it against the arm wielding that knife. I almost drop it, again, as the smell of burning hair and pork crackling fills my nostrils. Screams from outside, and the knife clatters on the floor. I make a lunge for the knife. Wielding the cruel hunk of steel, I shut my eyes and start hacking. The muffled screams from behind the door, the sticky warmth splashing on my arms. Finally, I feel the door slam close behind my back. It had worn the same armband. They all did once they turned. The door stuck f They're still out there. I'll need a weapon if I'm gonna make evac. There's nothing else. Don't you have a weapon? You have a you have a freaking knife, dude. Can't do it. Full box of cartridges inside. It's loaded, and I'm ready as I'll ever be. Weapon shaking in my hand, I swung the heavy door open. He's coming out. Jim, put it down. Look, Ben's here. No. Dad, it's me. I'm coming in. No. I think it's Mom all in his head. Before. She... I just got in. No, Ben. Get out of here. Run. Dad, put the gun down. They... They killed Kathy, Ben. 
Dad, it was an accident. They, they told me what... Look, it wasn't your fault. Dad, what are you doing? I can't fight it much longer. Dad, you need help. Please. Drop the gun, Jim. It's your son for fuck's sake. Can't think. Are you one of them now too? What? Hands shaking. Every synapse in my infected mind urging me to pull the trigger. Please! Could I have been wrong? Is it a twist or is it actually happening? Dude, I don't know, man. What? I'm so tired, Ben. So it's either I kill myself or I kill them, right? I can't do anything else. I don't think I can. It's either him or... It's either I kill myself or I kill my son. Bro, that's messed up, man. That is messed up. Like, how do you choose? Yourself or your son? Oh my god, I'm so... Wow. What do I do? <laughs> Dude, I don't want to choose anything, bro. Like Ben. Oh god. Ben. But that... wrongness is in his face. What's that... Ben on your arm? What? It's nothing. What are you doing? Drop the gun! I can't let it have him too. Not our son. No. No, dude. It's either I kill myself or I kill my son. Like, this is dumb. They should have had a third option, man, where you... Oh my god, dude. Wow, this is like a twist at the end, man. I wish they had a third option. Wow, this is this is crazy. I I love this game, but dude, it's sad as hell, man. Like it's like showing you what a person's going through. Hey crew, the new radiation monitor bands arrived this morning. Please see to get yours, we're required to wear them at all times. I know it's annoying, but health and safety all the time, Samantha. Oh, wow, dude. Wow. Well, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like. Tell your friends. Until the next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you all and stay safe.